Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. So today I'm gonna to be talking about how to use beans in a creative way in your meal prep. So we all know that beans are good for your heart and we also all know the next line there, but uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to incorporate them into dishes in fun, creative ways. So I'm showing you some of the things that we're gonna be making today and definitely head on over to nicolasinga.com to grab the full recipes. So the first thing I'm doing today is I'm making the crust for the chickpea pizza. So I'm just combining water with the chickpea flour and I have to let this sit for an hour to thicken up. So that's the first thing I'm doing while I move on to my other tasks. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just chopping up some shallots that I'm going to be putting on the frying pan with some oil and I'm gonna be incorporating these guys into my Mediterranean lentil meatballs. So I'm actually gonna be making them on a sheet pan. So I'm mixing together some flax seed uh, to make a flax egg to help them stick together leaving that for a few minutes and then chopping up the veggies that are also going on the sheet pan. So I'm using some zucchini here, um, some tomatoes and also some onions. So I'm going to show you in a second what that all looks like when I combine it together on a sheet pan. So I'm doing one with the veggies and then a separate sheet pan for the lentil meatball. So there's the veggie sheet pan right there. I have to say I love how all these colors just work together. So next I'm putting together all the ingredients for the lentil meatballs in a blender or a food processor. I always use my Vitamix, but um, throwing in some nutritional yeast along with the shallots, um, a bit of almond flour, and then also some spices. I like to use oregano and thyme. Uh, just processing that. And then the next step after that is just rolling the lentils into, or the lentil mixture into lentil meatballs. So just gonna cover a whole sheet pan and I'm gonna put both of these sheet pans into the oven for about 25 minutes, flipping halfway. And while those guys are in the oven, I'm just gonna be chopping up a white onion that I'm gonna be using to make the tomato chickpea pasta uh, stew or soup, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm also throwing in some carrots there, um, a little bit of garlic, um, garlic powder, and I just put them on the stove top. Um, so while that's cooking, I'm just actually taking out the, um, the veggies and the uh, lentil meatballs, and I'm just putting them together into the pans here. I also throw in some rice as well to add that search for a well-rounded meal and again while the soup is cooking I'm going to be uh, making my overnight oats which I do make each week as you know so I think you know the process here um, I think you can just kind of watch me put everything together So the next thing I'm doing is I took the chickpea flour crust out of the oven that I put in a cast iron pan and I'm putting the tomato sauce and cheese on top and putting it in the oven for another 10 and minutes. And here, so we have the chickpea crust pizza, we have the lentil meatballs, um, the chickpea pasta soup and overnight oats. Thank you so much for tuning in to my meal prep on how to use beans in a creative way. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and definitely head over to nicolosinga.com to grab the full recipes. All right, thanks so much everyone. Bye for now.